Well, hello everybody and welcome to Detroit for today's game between the St. Louis Cardinals and Detroit Tigers. It's the 1934 World Series where the American League champion Detroit Tigers, winners of 101 games, take on the visiting Cardinals. They were winners of 95. And let's go over the lineup for the Cardinals. Leading off and playing third base is Pepper Martin. Batting second and playing right field is Jack Rothrock. Batting third and playing second base is Frankie Frisch. Batting fourth, the left fielder, Ducky Medwick. Batting fifth, the first baseman, Rip Collins. Batting sixth, the catcher, Bill Delancey. Batting seventh, the center fielder, Ernie Orsedi. Batting eighth, the shortstop, Leo DeRocher. And batting ninth, and on the mound for the St. Louis Cardinals is 30-game winner, Dizzy Dean. Pitching for the Tigers today is going to be General Crowder. Crowder was 9-11 on the regular season in 22 starts with a 5.75 earn on average. He pitched 167 innings, walked 58, and struck out 69. The Tigers are looking to take the first game of this series, and General Crowder looks ready to settle in. And Martin steps up to the plate, and here comes the pitch as the 1934 World Series is underway. And Crowder delivers, and there's going to be a base hit in the right field. Frankie Frisch smacks one right, or excuse me, Pepper Martin peppers one right in the right field, and they have the leadoff man on. And stepping into the second batter's box is going to be Jack Rothrock. Rothrock, the right fielder, in 1934, hit 11 homers, 72 RBIs, and hit 284. Martin's got a decent little lead off of first over there. And the Tigers, let's see what they put up for Martin, and he is going to not to be able to get the lead. And here comes the pitch from Crowder to Rothrock. And there's going to be a fly ball out towards right field. Fox is camping under it. He'll make the catch, and there's one away. And here comes Frankie Frisch up to the plate. Frisch hit three homers during the regular season and hit 305. Here comes the delivery from Crowder, and that looks like it could be extra bases, and here's the, and it is going to be up against the wall for a double, let's see what the, Martin is, looks like he's rounding third, but they get it in quickly and he will hold, and here is Ducky Medwick, the right left fielder, he hit 18 home runs in the regular season and batted 319. And here comes the pitch from Crowder. And it's going to be a line shot, and there's one away. Or excuse me, that is two down, as he hit it hard right at Owen. And there's two down, and here is Rip Collins. Collins hit 35, 35 home runs during the regular season and batted 333. Here comes the pitch from Crowder. And they call, oh, and they called time at the plate, so that is going to be a new pitch as uh, Dean as Crowder threw it in quickly, but there was time called at the plate. Uh, Collins digs back in. Here is going to be the delivery from Crowder, and he walked him. The timeout works for the Cardinals as Crowder was frustrated and walks him, and the bases are now loaded here in the first inning for Bill Delancey. Delancey, a good hitting catcher, three, 13 homers, 16 RBIs during the regular season. And here comes the pitch, and there's going to be a base hit. He smoked it right past. That's going to score one, maybe two. Frisch is going to score, and they are going to stop the runners from advancing, and it is now 2-0 Cardinals here in the first inning. Here comes Ernie Orsedi. No homers during the regular season and hit 300. Here comes the pitch from Crowder. That looks like it's going to be a little bouncing ball towards short. Billy Rogel looking to make the play. And it looks like he boots it. Rogel boots the play. 
And here is DeRocher with the bases loaded again. And the Cardinals are all over the Tigers already. Here comes the delivery, and it's going to be a bouncing ball towards second. It looks like he has the ball. Geringer, easy play for him, picks it up, throws him out, and the inning is over. But the Cardinals get two, and they lead it 2 nothing. And here is Dizzy Dean. Dizzy Dean won 30 games during the regular season, and he's going to go up against the Tigers. And here comes the Tigers lineup. Leading off and playing center field is Jojo White. Batting second, the player manager, Mickey Cochran, doing the catching. Batting third, the mechanical man, Charlie Geringer. Batting fourth, the first baseman, Hank Greenberg. Batting fifth, the left fielder, Goose Goslin. Batting sixth and playing shortstop is Billy Rogel. Batting seventh, the third baseman, Marv Owen. Batting eighth, the right fielder, Pete Fox. And on the mound is Crowder. And like we said, Dizzy Dean won 30 games during the regular season. He only lost seven. He's got an earn run average of 2.66 in 33 starts. He pitched a whopping 312 innings, struck out 195, and walked 75. Let's see what the Tigers can do against him. The Cardinals got a two-run lead here in the first, and JoJo White is digging in. And Dean looks like he's getting ready to deliver one here. There's going to be... He struck him out! Jojo White waved through it. And there's one away, and here is Mickey Cochran. Cochran on the season hit two homers and hit 320 on the season. Dean digging in. And here comes the delivery from Dean, and that looks like he is going to strike him out. And Dean is already painting corners and making batters miss. And there's now two down, and here comes Charlie Geringer. Garinger on the regular season had 11 homers, 56 hit, excuse me, 11 homers and hit 356 on the season. Here comes the delivery from Dizzy Dean, and he struck him out. And Dean strikes out the side here in the first inning, and the Tigers go easily down one, two, three. And let's see how the Cardinals can answer. Let's see if they can put up another number to increase their lead. And here comes Dizzy Dean versus General Crowder. Here comes the delivery from Crowder. And that looks like it could be extra bases. And Dean pokes it here over White's head. That's going to be up against the wall. And Dean is going to be in there with a triple. And here comes Pepper Martin. Martin singled his first time up and scored a run. Here comes the delivery from Crowder. That looks like it's going to be a ground ball towards third. Marv Owen picks it up. See where he goes with it. He gets the runner to hold, and they throw him out easily. And here's Jack Rothrock, who flew out his first time up. The pitch from Crowder. And the delivery. That's going to be a little pop-up behind the plate. Let's see what Cochran can do. Wind's kind of blowing it around back there. And Cochran will have it easily. And there's two down. Here's Frankie Frisch. Frisch digging in. He got a double his last time up. Let's see what he does here against Crowder. And here comes the delivery from Crowder. And that looks like it could be a fly ball out towards center field. Jojo White ranging over. And he will make the catch easily. And that should end the inning. And the Tigers get out of a Beginning jam as Dizzy Dean let off with a triple, but they get nothing out of it. And at the end of one and a half, it's the Cardinals two, the Tigers nothing. And here comes Greenberg, 26 homers during the regular season, and hit 339. Here comes the delivery from Dean, and he walks the big guy. He walks Greenberg. And here comes Goose Goslin, Goslin. 13 homers and 305 during the regular season. Let's see. Dean warms up, gets ready, and tosses it in there. And that could be extra bases, but it's going to be a base hit. They get it in quickly. See if they send Greenberg to third. 
And he rounds second, and he is in the third easily. And here comes Billy Rogel, and the Tigers got something going. Rogel stepping in. Here's a delivery from Dean. It's going to be a ground ball to first base. Let's see what they do with it. Collins is just going to go and step on the bag himself. Goslin moves up. Greenberg scores, and the Tigers are on the board. It's 2-1. to one. Here is Marv Owen. Eight homers and hit 317 during the regular season. Pitch from Dean. There's going to be a fly ball out towards left. Easy play for Medwick. And there's two way. Here's Pete Fox. Fox hit 285 during the regular season and hit two home runs. Here's the delivery from Dizzy Dean. And that's going to be a fly ball out towards right field. Jack Rothrock will camp under it, make the play, and the inning is over. And at the end of two, it's 2 1 Cardinals. Here's Ducky Medwick. He's 0 for 1 today. And here comes the delivery from Crowder. That's going to be a ground ball towards third. Easy play for Marv Owen, and there's one down. Here's Rip Collins. Collins walked his first time up. And this one, this one, he's going to be a base hit. Collins hits it into center, and there's a man on. Oh, JoJo White can't get to it quickly, and he is going to be in the second with a double. So White kind of lackadaisically went after it, and Collins saw that, and he advanced up to second, making it a double. And here's Bill Delancey. He's two for two with two RB, or excuse me, one for one with two RBIs. And here's the delivery from Crowder, and he strikes him out. Oh, goodness, that was a good pitch. And he tried to hold up, but he goes around, and our, there's two down. And here is Ernie Orsedi. He reached on a Billy Rogel error his first time up. Here comes the delivery from Crowder. And this looks like it'll be extra bases. It will, and it's going to be up against the wall. And that's going to score a run. Collins scores easily, and Orsedi is going to be on third with a triple. And it's now 3-1 to one Cardinals. Here's Leo DeRocher. He grounded out his first time up. Here comes the delivery from Crowder. And that's going to be a base hit. That's going to score Orsaidi 4-1 Cardinals. Orsaidi, Derosher will hold at first on a solid single. And here comes Dizzy Dean. He tripled his first time up. And he's going to... to and here's the delivery from Crowder. And that's a base hit in the left. Let's see if Derosher holds at second. He will not. He, they will send him. And the Tigers will hold on to it. And DeRocher is on third. Dean is on first. Runners on the corner. And two outs. Here's Pepper Martin. One for two today. And there's a delivery from Crowder. And that's a base hit. A solid single for Martin. And they are going to send Dizzy Dean over to third. And they get the throw in, and not in time. And Martin will advance up to second on the throw. And the Cardinals are knocking General Crowder around. And that is going to be it for Crowder. And we pause as they are going to take General Crowder out of the ballgame. It's going to be Vic Frazier. Frazier, during the regular season, was 1-3 with a 5.96. He only threw 23 innings and struck out 11 and walked 12. He's got the Tigers are in kind of a pickle here. They're trying to shut down this uh, opening for the Cardinals. And here's Rothrock. He is 0 for 2 today. And here comes the pitch from Frazier. And here's the delivery. And that is going to be a base hit for Rothrock. That's going to score one, maybe two. Pepper Martin is going to round it. He will score. They will hold up. It's now 7-1 to one St. Louis, and here is Frankie Frisch. One for two with a double. And 
there comes the delivery from Frazier. That's going to be a fly ball out towards center field. That will end the inning. But the Cardinals get five, break this game open here in the third, and it is seven to one. And the Tigers are going to pinch hit for Frazier right off the bat. See who they decide to go with. The Tigers are going to go with G. Walker as the pinch hitter. Here comes Walker. Six homers, three and hit 300 during the regular season. Walker. Here is the delivery from Dizzy Dean. And that is going to be a double for Walker up against the wall. And he is going to be on second with a double. And here is Jojo White. Jojo White, 0 for 1. He struck out his first time up. And here comes the delivery from Dizzy Dean. That's going to be a bouncing ball towards second base. That should move Walker over to third. And it does, and there is going to be one away. So a man on third, one out, and here is Mickey Cochran. Cochran struck out his first time up. Here comes the delivery from Dizzy Dean. And he walked him. That is ball four, and Cochran is on. They got runners on the corner. And here's Charlie Geringer. He struck out his first time up. And this, here comes the delivery from Dean. And this looks like it's going to be a long fly ball out towards the Warren track. Rothrock grabs it, but that should score Walker easily, and Cochran will hold at first, and the Tigers get a run on the sack fly by Geringer. Here comes Hank Greenberg. He was walked his first time up. He also scored the run. And here comes the delivery from Dizzy Dean. And that looks like it's going to be an inside pitch, and it's going to be a fly ball out towards right field. Rothrock, a decent fielding outfielder. And he is camped under it, and he will make the catch. That will end the inning, but the Tigers get another one. It is now at the end of three, 7-2 Cardinals. And the Tigers will bring in a new pitcher. And the Tigers decide to bring in Chief Hogsett into the game. Hogsett on the regular season was 3-2 and two for the 4.290 through 50 innings and struck out 23 and walked 19. And he will face Joe Medwick, who is 0 for 2 today. And here comes the pitch from Hogsett here. And it looks like it's going to be a ground ball towards Billy Rogel. Rogel up with it, throws him out, and there is one away. Here's Rip Collins. He is one for one with a double and a walk. See what Hogsett can do with him. And here comes the delivery. And that looks like it's going to be a base hit. A fastball right down the middle, and he pokes it into right field. And he holds that first this time, and here is Bill Delancey. Delancey, one for two with a single, two RBIs, and he has a strikeout. Hogsett. Staring down the deliver the sign from Mickey Cochran. He gets the sign that he likes, and here comes the delivery. And this is going to be a fly ball out towards center field. JoJo White is going to camp under it, and there's two down. And here's Ernie Orsada. He is one for two with a triple and an RBI. Hawk set. Looks ready to deliver. Here comes the pitch. That looks like uh, he hits it hard. It's like it's going to get out of the reach of Geringer and is going to be on first. And they are going to send him to third. There will be no throw. Oh, the Tigers are throwing for him. I thought he was going to cut it off, but he lets it go. And Goslin throws it away. It gets past, one hopper past Owen. That's going to score the run. And Orsada will advance to second, and that makes it now 8-2. to two. And here's Leo DeRocher. DeRocher, one for two today with an RBI. Here comes the delivery from Hogsett. And that is going to be a line shot. 
right towards Geringer. And that's the inning. But the Cardinals get another one. It is now 8-2. to two. And here's Goslin versus Dizzy Dean. Here comes the delivery from Dean. And that is going to be a base hit. Goslin puts it in the right field, and he is on. Here comes Billy Rogel. 0 for 1, but he does have an RBI today. Here comes the delivery from Dizzy Dean. And he hits a little pop-up out towards first. Collins will make the play easily, and there's one down. Here's Marv Owen. Owen 0 for 1 today. Here comes the pitch from Dizzy Dean. Looks like it'll be a little grounder towards Frisch. Let's see if they can turn two. Frisch fields it. Over to second for one. Over to first. Double play. 4-6-3. And the Cardinals are out of the inning. So Dean gets uh, Owen to bounce into a double play. And the inning is over. At the end of four, it's 8-2 Cardinals. Here comes the delivery from Hogsett to Dean. And Dean is going to hit it hard right on the ground towards Marv Owen. And he will make the play, and there's one away. Here comes Pepper Martin. He's two for three here in game one. Here comes the delivery from Hogsett. And this is a long drive way back. That is going to be caught on the warning track. Goslin makes a heck of a play. And there are two down. Here's Rothrock. One for two, two RBIs. Here comes the pitch from Hogsett. And that is going to be a base hit. He snuck that one through. And Rothrock is on for his second hit of the day. And here is Frankie Frisch. One for three today. Here comes a delivery from... Hogset. That looks like a ground ball towards Charlie Geringer. Geringer has that one easily. He will pick it up and throw out Frisch. And the inning is over. Here comes Pete Fox. Deleted off for the Tigers. Fox 0 for 1 today. Here comes the delivery from Dizzy Dean. And that is going to be a base hit for Fox. Dean has not struck out anybody since the first inning. And Pete Fox is on with a single. And here's Hogsett. That is going to be a ground ball towards third. Could be two. And it is. And there is two down on a 5-4-3 double play. And here is Jojo White. Here comes a pitch from Dizzy Dean. And that is a base hit for Jojo White right into center field. Or Sadai fields it cleanly and gets it in. Here's Mickey Cochran, 0 for 1 today with a strikeout and a walk. Here comes a pitch from Dean. And that is right down the middle. And he tattoos it into the outfield. For a base hit. Jojo White on his way to third. They will send him. They will just get it in. And Cochran is held at first. So here we go. Runners on the corners. Two outs. And here is Charlie Geringer. He is 0 for 1 today with a sack fly. Here comes the pitch from Dean. And he walks him. Charlie Geringer draws the walk. And that is something that they desperately need. Putting Dean up against the ropes. And here comes Greenberg, the big power hitter for the Tigers. And Dean gets his sign from Delancey. And here comes the delivery. And that is going to be a bouncing ball towards Frisch. See if Frisch can field it cleanly. He does, and that will end the inning. So Dean gets Greenberg to hit into a little weak ground ball. To end the inning at the end of six, at the end of five, it is now eight to two St. Louis. And here comes Ducky Medwick. Medwick 0 for 3 today. Tiger pitching is kind of 
been able to contain him. And here comes the delivery from Hogseth. And he come and he swings hard, base hit. Right in the left field. Goslin gets it in, and there's the first hit for Ducky Medwick. Here's Rip Collins, two for two. He is torn up Tiger pitching today. Let's see, Hogset sets and delivers. And that is a long drive way back up against the wall, but it dies on the warning track. And another deep fly ball by St. Louis hitters that stays into the ballpark. One down, and here comes Bill Delancey. One for three today. And here comes the pitch from Hogset. And he struck him out. Bill Delancey just swung right through it. And here's Orsedi. He is two for three today with an RBI. Hogset gets the sign and delivers. And that is going to be a fly ball out towards center field. JoJo White is under it, makes the play, and the inning is over. Dizzy Dean, like I said, hasn't struck out anybody since the first inning. He's walked three and given up six hits. And let's see what Goose Goslin can do today. Goslin two for two with a couple of singles. Here comes the delivery from Dizzy Dean. That's going to be a ground ball right to the first baseman. Takes it, and he is out, and there are two down. Or excuse me, one away. Here's Billy Rogel. Rogel, 0 oh for 2 today with an RBI. Dean sets and delivers. There is a long fly ball out towards left. Medwick will make the catch, and there are two down. Here comes Marv Owen. Owen, 0 oh for 2 today. Dean going into his windup, and he will deliver. And there's a smash on the ground. That's going to be a base hit for Billy Rogel. Or excuse me, for Marv Owen. And here comes Pete Fox. Fox, one for two today. Dean back into the windup. Here's the pitch. That is ball four. He walks him. And the Tigers are going to bring in a pinch hitter for Chief Hogsett. Mickey Cochran calls on Heine Schubel to come in and pinch hit. Schubel hit 267 in the regular season. Got first and second two outs, and here comes the delivery from Dizzy Dean. And there is going to be a fly ball out towards right field. Easy play for Jack Rothrock. And the inning is over. The Tigers get nothing with the bases loaded. Or with runners at first and second. And there will be a pitching change, and we'll be right back. And Mickey Cochran is going to bring in Furpo Marbury to come in and pitch. Marbury on the season was 15-5 and five with a 4.57. He did start 19 games. He pitched 156 innings, struck out 64, and walked 48. And he's got the bottom part of this order. And here comes Leo DeRocher. He is 1-3 for three today. And here comes the delivery from Furpo Marbury. And he got him to line out, and there is one away. He smoked it right at Charlie Geringer, and Geringer makes the easy play. And here's Dean. He is two for three today. Here comes the delivery from Furpo Marbury, and he hits it hard but right at somebody, and the inning is over. Two down, and that is right to Owen. Gets him out. Two down. Here's Pepper Martin. Martin two for four on the day. Marbury gets his sign from Cochran. And that is going to be a bouncing ball towards Geringer. Should be an easy play. It's not hit very hard. And he will pick it up. Throws to Greenberg. And the inning is over. And here we go to the bottom of the seventh.
All right, here we go in the bottom of the seventh, and here is JoJo White. He is two for three today. Here comes the delivery from Dizzy Dean. And that is going to be a base hit for JoJo White, his second hit of the ball game. Put that one right over the head of Collins. And he is on. And here's Mickey Cochran. One for two today. Dizzy Dean. Reels back and delivers. And Cochran hits it hard. Right at Frisch. And there is one out. Frisch didn't even have to move on it. It was right at him. And there's one away. Here's Geringer 0 for 1 with a sack fly. Delivery from Dean. This looks like a little tapper right back towards the mound. Dizzy Dean, a decent pitchy fielding pitcher. Picks it up. This could be two. Over to DeRocher, over to Collins, and that's a double play. And the Tigers are out here in the seventh. At the end of seven, it's the St. Louis Cardinals eight, the Detroit Tigers two, on your home for Stratomatic Baseball. Here we go into the eighth inning. Furpo Marbury complete working into his second inning of work. And here is Jack Rothrock, who is two for four with two RBIs. And here comes the delivery from Marbury. This looks like it's going to be a fly ball out towards JoJo White. White ranging over. And he is going to drop it. He drops it. And that is going to put Rothrock on third. On a three-base error by JoJo White. And here comes Frankie Frisch. Tiger fans have not had much to cheer about today as it's 8-2 to two with their third error on the day. Rothrock is sitting on third, and here is Frankie Frisch. And here comes the delivery from Marbury. And Frisch hit it hard. And then here's the delivery, and Frisch smokes one. Towering pop-up. Garinger makes the play. And there's one away. Here is Ducky Medwick. Pitch from Marbury. And he walks him. Ball four. Here's Rip Collins. Two for three today. Here's a delivery from Marbury. This is hit onto the ground to Charlie Garinger. Should be two. And they're going to turn it. That is going to be a 6-4-3 double play. Or 4-6-3 double play. And the inning is over. So at the end of 7.5, it's still 8-2 Cardinals. Here's Dean versus Greenberg. And Greenberg 0 for 2 today. Dean gets the sign. And there's going to be a ground ball right back to him. He will pick it up and he will throw out Greenberg easily. And there's one away. Goose Goslin. Goslin two for three today. Pitch from Dizzy Dean. Looks like it's going to be a little dribbler for the catcher. Let's see what Delancey can do with it. He makes the play. Little roller out in front of the plate. He hit the crap out of that one. And here's Billy Rogel. Rogel 0 for 3 today. Here comes a pitch from Dean. And base hit for Billy Rogel. He went to right field with it. He pulled it. And here comes Marv Owen. Owen 0, 1 for 3 today. Dean, the delivery. That is going to be on the ground towards Leo DeRocher. DeRocher picks it up, throws him out, and the inning is over. So we head to the ninth. It's 8-2 Cardinals. And leading it off is Bill Delancey. Delancey is 1-4 for four with two RBIs. Here comes the pitch from Arbery. 
And that is going to be a fly ball deep out to right, caught easily by Fox. And there's one away. Here's Ernie Orsadi. Orsade on the day, two for four with a triple. Here comes the pitch from Marbury. And that is a base hit. Ernie Orsadi smacks a single in the center field. And here comes Leo DeRocher. One for four today is DeRocher. He's got an RBI. Marbury looking in, receives his sign, and delivers. And that is a bouncing ball to Billy Rogel. Let's see if Billy can flip this and turn two on it. And he will, and that's a double play ball. Six, four, three, and the inning is over. So the Tigers are out to their final at bat. And it's going to be Fox, more than likely a pinch hitter, and the top of the order. Here's Pete Fox. He's one for two. He's been walked today. Here comes the delivery from Dizzy Dean. Looks like it'll be a play for Delancey. Pop up and he dropped it in fair territory, and Fox is going to be on with a single. And here comes a pinch hitter for Furpo Marbury. Let's see who the Tiger is, and we'll take a timeout. And Cochran brings in Frank Doljak to pinch hit. Doljak hit 233 on the season. He's got a man on, and here is the delivery from Dizzy Dean. That looks like to be a ground ball towards Frisch. This could be two. A little ground ball towards Frankie Frisch. Yep, he can't come up with it. And it's through. I thought Frisch was going to have that one and at least get to play at second, but he can't get it. Fox will head the third, and Doljak is on with a single. And the Tigers have him at first and second. Nobody out. And here comes the top of the order and Jojo White, who is two for four today. Here comes the delivery from Dean. And that is going to be, he struck him out. There's his first strikeout since the first inning. And Jojo White is down on strikes. Here's Cochran, one for three today with a walk. Here comes the pitch from Dizzy Dean. And that looks like it's on the ground. That could be a double play ball and end this ball game. It's on the ground towards Collins. Throws the first. He's out back to first. Double play. It's a 3-6-3. And game one is in the books as the St. Louis Cardinals defeat the Detroit Tigers by the score of 8-2. Here's your stats for the day. The Cardinals win it on a Dizzy Dean complete game. He went nine innings. Pitched, gave up 10 hits, 2 runs, struck out 4, and walked 4. Uh, the Tigers' general Crowder is going to absorb the raw loss as he went 2 and 2 thirds, gave up 9 hits, 7 runs on 7 earned. Player of the game for the is going to be from the St. Louis Cardinals. It's going to be Jack Rothrock as he ended up going 2 for 5 with 2 RBIs, and the Cardinals win this one by the score of 8 to 2. So after game one of the 1934 World Series, St. Louis now leads the series one game to none, and we'll see you tomorrow.